All right, so last episode, we notched a 47-point triple-double with zero free throw attempts is what I noticed. We, were, we weren't fouled once, and I want, I want to say a lot of those points were in the paint. I did have nine threes, so what, what does that contribute to? Nine times three would be 20. So 27 out of those 47 points were from the three-point line of uh, these. These are the stats right here. We're going to click win, except as you can see, we gave five of the season, 47 points, 70% from the field, 69, nice, percent from three, 10 rebounds, 12 assists, three steals, notching. What would that be? My second triple-double? No, 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 my first triple-double of not the season, but of our season. Uh, We're heading into our second to last game against the Kansas City Scouts. This should be another easy one. We've had a fairly easy um, season so far. I think our only loss comes against the Spurs, I believe. That would be correct. Our only loss coming against the Spurs. Now, we should have a very easy one against the Scouts. And then it gets a little bit more difficult last game of the season against the Grizzlies. And here are all their Scouts roster. CJ McCollum is their starting point guard. He's having 20 points a game on pretty bad efficiency from the field. Decent from three, though. Uh, Colby Jones is their shooting guard. They are rookie. He's averaging seven points a game on actually really good efficiency. Uh, Duncan Robinson's in their starting small forward spot. Not doing great. Chris Murray, brother of Keegan Murray, averaging seven points a game. And Usman Garuba, who was the leader for most improved player, might still win it. He was averaging, I think, 15 points and 18 rebounds with two blocks and two steals. He has really decreased that. He is now averaging 12 points, 13 rebounds, two steals, a block. Uh, not great efficiency, but he's shooting a lot more. He's playing 36 minutes, so he most likely would be the most improved player. So hopefully that's an easy win so far in the playoff picture. We have clinched. We are 15-24, and the Pistons have caught up. The Pistons have caught up and are now tied. We had at least a 3-4 to four game lead on them all season. And I guess, yeah, they've gone 9-1 in their last 10. We've only gone 6-4. and four. And we now need to keep pace with the Pistons or else we're going to fall down. And we do not want to see the uh, Celtics. We I do not want to see the Grizzlies. These are, It's a tight race for that sixth seed. All separated by at least a game. I really don't want to see the Celtics in round one. The Celtics, the Grizzlies, or even the Sixers do not want to see in round one. But without further ado, let's hop to this game and get the scouts and hope it's just an easy win. All right, here we go. First game against the scouts. Second to last game for this regular season for us wise. 15-24 Hornets. 15 and 60 Kansas City scouts. We are here in Charlotte for this game. You get to see the scouts uniforms. You won't be able to see their court as we are here in Charlotte. I do enjoy the scouts uniforms. I think they're really nice. Uh, the little two, uh, I guess not two tone, but like du dual color they have going on there. Their court's pretty basic. Honestly, it has their logo in the center. Nothing much. I hit the wrong button. I meant to go for Josh Richardson. It did not work. He, Laurie Markkinen, launched it to me. Jay Rich with the bad shot, bro. Really bad shot. That You do not take that shot. Uh, I probably, their biggest threat, I'd assume, is Duncan Robinson. Not Duncan Robinson. I, nope. Uh, CJ McCollum. So maybe I should put myself on him. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't see us losing this game as Usman Garuba gets an and one. Back to me. Wide open. From downtown, Cedric Lewis knocks it down. Give me that. Give me that. Yoink. That's a yoink. Keep cutting, Dre Rich. That should not be an easy bucket because Garuba's all over you, but he gets fouled. They dropped 121 points on the Spurs. Bro, they better not have won that game. They, in a way, they just dropped 121 on the Spurs. You know who's on the Spurs? Giannis and AD are on the Spurs. So if this scouts team dropped that many points and won and we got spanked, we should be embarrassed with ourselves. Uh, this 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 game has been something else. Six to six, halfway through the game. Yeah, uh, no offense is being played because those are the type of shots being taken. Fast break. I'm gonna pull up. That should be good. It is Cedric Lewis with another three. I have been struggling to shoot the ball this game so far. I only have two shots. Both of them are threes. But anything other than that, it has been a no go. Down court. Jay Rich. Great outlet pass. That's a dunk. I believe that is my second bucket. No, that's my first bucket that's not a three because I hit two free throws. First basket, not a three-pointer for Cedric Lewis. He's three for eight on the night, two for three from downtown. Is just not able to get anything going. This 
Scout's defense is really good, especially interior. Very, very good. I don't understand how, but, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining for a competitive game. I don't think it'll stay competitive for long, as that's the type of shots they're taking. Cedric Lewis on the break. Lowry marketing. Pull up middies off. You already know it is because I'm the one who passed it to him. Oh, another one. Cedric. Third three of the night, and the Hornets are on fire on a 12 to nothing run. I believe like seven of those points, eight of those points, correction, led by Cedric Lewis. Six seconds left, first quarter. I'm going straight at him. I'm going straight at TJ. Post fade. This ain't the bubble no more. Oh, I bricked it. All right. Up by seven going into the second. After a 17-point first quarter for Lewis, he gets a little bit of rest here. We'll see if the bench, who has been struggling, can keep. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's the scouts. I didn't expect him to do much. Up by 15, halfway through the second. The bench, though, against actual competent teams, has been struggling to keep leads. So uh, it's good to know that they will continue that from last season of, you know, extending it. Because last season, whenever we came into the game, we were blowing out teams. But this season, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Devontae Graham almost got a seal, but it turned into a Lamelo 3. But yeah, last season, whenever I came back to the game, we went, we went from like up by 6 or sometimes down to all of a sudden up by 20. Like the bench was just unhinged last year, especially in the playoffs. And Colby Jones got me there. I really thought he was pulling that. Uh, Devontae Graham, yeah, I don't know what you were thinking, buddy. I don't know what you were thinking. Usman Garuba is there to clean up the glass. Oh, my God. Learn Chinese. They keep getting the offensive rebound. What is happening? No. No, no, no. Okay, that's the last guy we want shooting the ball. And he still missed. We finally got the rebound. Uh, Jay Rich, give it to me. I'm going to give it to Lamelo. Go set him the screen. They're going to leave me open for three. And I messed up the release. Lamelo ball. Yup. What else is new? He just... Every time, man, I want to say about 80% of the time I set him a screen, he just decides to launch a three. Devontae Graham, it's off. Nick Richards with the rebound. Like, it's so irritating playing with them sometimes. The Dorian Finney-Smith, I don't know what I was about to say. Dorian Finney-Smith with the slam. I am flirting with another triple-double. 19-5 and 5. It's the rebounds. That can be a struggle sometimes for Cedric. This should be another one right there. Nope. Okay, of course Josh Richardson steals it. And why am I so slow? Dude, I have 90-something speed. There is no... That should go. It does. There is no reason I should be that slow. I was open for three. Stop giving it to the bum. Lamelo sucks. Stop giving it to him. As I'm... Oh, that's a bucket. Cedric Lewis. You got to get Lamelo. You got to pass that to me a lot earlier. But it's still another bucket. Cedric Lewis notches down. I think is that that's his fourth or fifth. Uh, three of the night, up by 22. Uh, TJ Warren, Bubble God. Yoink! Cookies! Keep cutting, Lamelo. Keep cutting! Lamelo ball to dunk up 24. 20 seconds left in this first half, and this is the expectation of what this game was going to be. TJ Warren trying to get head first to the basket. Nearly turns it over to Christian Coloco. Uh, TJ Warren in the corner. It's off. I'm down court. Three seconds left. Cedric, 29 point first half, extends the lead to 26, and the Hornets are running away with it. Bro, every time they miss, the rebound doesn't go to me. I swear, it, it's set up. Max Drews with your slow ass relief. He hit a three. I think that is the first time since he's joined this team I've seen him hit a shot. He ain't got five fouls? Yo! I'm going to send to the bench. What are we doing, Dion? You're lucky we got a good center of Nick Richards off the bench. We're up by 36. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Third. No, I was right. 36. Yeah, 36, 36, 36. That was correct. That was correct. Uh, I'm not going to get this triple-double. I know it because 2K keeps uh, screwing me out of um, rebounds. Max Drews misses. What else is new? Uh, yeah. Anytime I try and get a rebound, the ball either gets missed to the other side of me or... Aiton comes supermaning from the other side and just steals the rebound from me. Or they make it. So, triple-double is most likely out of the question. So, I'm just going to try and just score at will here. Like, look at that. Look at that defense. And one. Duncan Robinson was playing just like his IRL defense. Just looking at you. Mel Ball with the steal. Throw it up. Lob. It's always that animation, though. That's the sad part, man. I want, I want something filthier than that. 
that basic ass reverse dunk animation. I want something nicer than that, 2K. But we are, we're up by 38. Um, it, it's just like that Sonics game. That oh, I thought he was gonna launch that. That's gonna be a bucket. No, he missed. Oh, uh, whoever that was, I don't even know. Step back, step back, right through the defense, and none. 15 seconds left. 51. 51, that is a correct number. Point lead for the Hornets. Looks like it's going to stay like that. 42, 6, and 12 is the final box score for Cedric Lewis. Did not shoot the ball as well as they usually do. But what a victory for the Hornets. It was expected. But 51 points, That that is a lot. Final box score, 42 points, 6 rebounds, 12 assists, and 5 steals. The amount of 4 by 5 Cedric has is insane. Yeah, shot below 50% from the field. I was struggling, dude. If I, if I wasn't at the 3-point line, I was really making much. 13 for 28. That's probably, what, 44%, 43%-ish. 5 for 8 from 3. Did get back to the free throw line after that 0 for 0 game. 11 for 11 from the line. And LaMelo Ball. Finally has a good game. 23 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals on very good efficiency. About damn time. Lowry gave us 14. Ty Jones gave us 13 off the bench. All four threes. Max Drews gave us 8 off the bench. Where is Aiton? Oh, yeah, he was in foul trouble. He did not even score. He ended up fouling out of the game. 0 points with 13 rebounds. Only took 1 attempt. And for the scouts, Ron Holland, who they had playing center down the stretch, had 15 points, 6 for 12 Colby Jones, 13 points, 5 for 9. So both their rookies, I believe. Yes, both their rookies. No, who are you? Colby Jones was last year's draft class. It says 2023. This says 2024. Oh, okay. So he was a second round. Oh, he's still a rookie, technically. So technically, both their rookies, three of their rookies, actually, never mind. Chris McMurray was not a rookie. Uh, Chris Murray, 1 for 7, 9 points. CJ Warren, 3 for 10. Duncan, 2 for 8. Uh, CJ, 2 for 10. So next episode... Final game of the regular season against the Grizzlies. We will see where we will finish in the standings. Will we be the three seed? Will we be the two seed? We will find out. We're not out of play for that one seed yet, but the Cavaliers are just far and away. Most likely going to get that. But that's going to be for me. GG.